All right, guys. Um, so this is the first lesson in our um, game animations and games unit. Um, we're going to be working with the game lab, um, and in the first chapter, as you've read on OneNote, we're focused on on uh, creating animations, uh, drawings, and animations on the game lab. So we're getting you used to understanding how to use the game lab, and um, it it looks complicated at first but I, th I think it'll make sense as we um, spend a couple of days practicing using it. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is as I move my cursor along the, the coordinate plane it tells me the x and y values and this is similar to the the math coordinate plane where you have the x which is going left and right and you have the y values which is going up and down one of the big things to note is there's no negative value on the coordinate plane when you're going down. So um, in math, as you go farther to the right, and you'll notice the same here, the x value increases. Okay. Um, here, um, the, the top is actually going to be a y value of 0. And as you go down, the y value actually increases. So that's different from your math class. So please uh, oops, uh, keep that in mind. Otherwise, um, th there'll be some confusion. Okay. And in in this situation, our our plane is uh, 400 by 400 pixels, or 400 by 400 wide. So it goes 400 to the left and right, 400 up and down. Okay, so using the, the um, game lab for lesson two, um, you're going to be drawing shapes that are given to you. So part the main idea is for us to practice using this a bit, but just to sort of understand the game lab as well. And um, it's fairly simple. You can make it black and white by clicking on this icon right here with the grayscale, or you can make a color by clicking on the colors. So let's say I want to create a square, um, let's say a green square. I'll go ahead and click on this uh, green square and I'll place it here. Notice the squares. Um, all, again, all we have to do is click on the shape. So I'm, I'm going to click on circle once and then I can drag here. If I want it to be blue, I go ahead and click on blue. Okay, square. And if I want it red, just click on it once. And I'll just place it where I want it to. Okay, and I can make a, I don't know, a happy face if I wanted to. And um, so that's, I hope that makes sense to use. At first you're going to try to uh, drag and drop and I did the same, but you're really just going to click on it. If you want to change something, you just click on it. Um, and one important thing to know is you could also show the grid if it helps you out as well. Okay, um, it, it has the different values. Um, and again, it's hard to see because I can't point and show, but on the bottom right here, if you look at look down here right under where it says show grid, when I put my cursor on the grid, it tells me the X and Y value where my mouse cursor is as well. Okay, so those are some useful things to keep in mind. Um, okay, so the assignment, you guys were asked to sort of follow directions or instructions on how to complete or to draw some specific things. So I'll start the first one, the first drawing, uh, just to describe what I'm looking for. So on drawing number one, the first thing I'm asked to do is draw or put a blue square in the, with the top left corner at right 100 down 150. So right 100 down 150. So I'm gonna go to my game lab and I'm gonna run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a blue square so I'm going to click on the blue and square at 100 to the right, down 150. So 100 to the right, down 150, and the top left corner is placed right there. You'll notice it's not exact. I'm at 101, 150-ish, and you know that's not the end of the world, okay? So anywhere close is fine. So that's the first one. And then next, you're going to put another blue square with the top left corner at 150, 150. So I'm going to go to 150. 150, and I forgot to click on the square, and I'll put a blue square right there. Okay, so you just kind of finish it up, the directions, and tell tell me what you made. And on the second page here, it'll, there is the answer key with the with the copied image that I created that you can look at just to double check you have it done correctly. Um, and just make sure you turn this in when you're done, even though I do have the answer key on the second page. Um, you know, answer these questions and make sure you turn it in.
Okay, so that's going to be lesson two.